Hello, hello. Happy hump day. I'm excited to be back on here. I went a little MIA for a hot second. We had a little mini getaway for the weekend with the kids to my husband's best friend's house and had a ton of fun. And then we came home and my daughter was sick and I have literally not slept for like four days. Probably, okay, so I probably slept for about two or three hours a night for the last, you know, four days. But... <laughs> that's that's where we're at now so I am back we are doing the ninth look of Christmas um I kind of cheated on the eighth look of Christmas and I posted an old video because I was like oh I'm gonna do this makeup look while we're on our trip like this is the one I'm gonna do it's so pretty and then it popped up on my timeline that I did the exact same look like a year ago or something like that so I shared that look with you guys and now we're on number nine so first off before I forget I will ask no I'll wait till later Someone remind me that I need to ask a trivia question if I try to say goodbye and I don't ask you. <laughs> but um, we are going to do this beautiful look. I'm excited. It's classy and it's a little bit of a like pop of fun with this gold in my crease and then right at my um, eyeliner on my eye. So let's get to it. If you didn't guess already, we are going to start with eye primer. So I'm going to prime my entire eyeball up to my brow and I do want to do this look with my primer dry so I'll make sure that it gets dry before I oh I totally got that in my eyebrow it's fine it's fine Thinning it out a little bit. Now I gotta, I gotta comb out my eyebrow a little because I totally got eye primer in it. There we go. That's better. Okay, so now that eye primer is on, we are gonna start with the corner crease brush. Now, if you have a hard time getting this perfect, really good line, you can totally use tape. Um, and that works awesome, but when you're really careful about your detail from the get-go, you don't have to use tape and stuff as much. So I'm going to show you how to get this kind of cut creasy type thing, dealio, we got going on without having to use tape and without having to use concealer either. So um, corner crease brush, it's like this. It's got that little angle on it. And then we're going to start with Cinnabar, which is this color right here. Now I'm going to draw out my line that I want on the edge of my eye. So just mapping out what I'm going to do. And then my eyeliner is going to come right along the bottom of that. So we're just going to kind of, kind of draw this in. And then I'm just going to use this brush to create my nice line in my crease for my, you know, glitter to go on later. So I'm just gently laying it exactly where I want it and like pressing and then sliding just a little bit. So little strokes and you'll see with this brush, when you do that, like that's a pretty good line without doing anything crazy and without needing concealer. So you just put it right where you want it. This brush is really good at that because it's a little bit more dense and shorter. Um, it's harder to do with the all over color brush because that brush kind of goes all over. <laughs> so get it where we want it. Then I'm going to blend it upwards and outwards a little bit. And then I will grab my all over color brush for a hot second to blend all of that on the edge. So now we're going to grab the all over color brush. So it looks like this. It's a little bit more fluffy. You get a tiny bit on there. Now we're gonna blend what we already did. So we'll have a nice smooth transition. And I'm being careful just to get it on this outer edge and not get it on that inner line where I want that to stay exactly where it's at. I'm gonna get my blending color, which is Sandcastle, and do like up to my brow. So that'll clean up that edge and make it a nice fade even more. Just little strokes. 
And then I'm gonna get some biscotti. So Sandcastle is this more yellowy one. Um, I'm a little bit more tan right now. And then this lighter one is biscotti. Um, that's what me and my white self usually use. And I'm gonna use that on this inner little part right here. Just to do extra accent. Okay, now we're gonna go in with some onyx, which is a matte black. Oh, I dropped my, dropped my towel. Okay. So we're gonna go in with Onyx, which is this black color over here. And I'm using the corner crease brush again. I'm getting just a little bit on there so I can put the Onyx exactly where I want it. So we're gonna do like this outer third of my eye. And I don't wanna blend it too much into the brown that I already did. We're just darkening up this outer corner. And then up into the crease just a little bit out here. Okay, so now that my color is all laid down without adding any color, I'm going to come in with my um, all over brush, color brush, and kind of just move it around and blend it. And then blend it into that crease. Oh, I need a little bit more. Right in there. Okay, now I'm gonna clean off my all over color brush. I don't know where my little arm thingy went. Oh, there it is. I don't know if I can fit it over my sweater. <laughs> I hope you guys like my sweater. I just realized I'm missing my puffball to my Santa hat right here, but I still have my flamingo puffball, so that's fun. <laughs> Had to get the ugly sweaters out, you know. I don't think ugly sweaters are ugly though. I love ugly sweaters. Like I will wear them all Christmas long. I would wear them all year if it was appropriate. <laughs> okay, so now that I have that to make my life easier, um, I'm gonna get Sandcastle, which is this one. So it's the one that's a little bit darker, has a little bit more yellow in it. And I'm gonna do that all over my lid. So I'm just like pressing and blending. I'm not getting super up in that crease though because I'm gonna make sure I do that really intentional with my other brush to keep that line really pretty and clean. So I'm gonna wipe off my corner crease brush and get more of that sand castle and I am gonna put it right where I want it in this little line here, just like that. And now I'm gonna do with the smudger brush, so with this brush right here, I'm gonna do a little bit of a transition color. So I'm gonna get some of that brown we used in the beginning. So this is the cinnabar, just a little bit. And I'm gonna put the littlest bit right here between that cream color and the black that we did. And then I'm gonna come back at it with my all over color brush and just blend it. So that gives you a little bit of color in the middle of your lid and makes it a little bit smoother of a transition which I think is really pretty I'm gonna touch me to blend this a little bit more and then we're gonna come with that sand castle do a little bit more and blend it into what we did right here so it makes it that nice, pretty, really smooth transition into the dark color on the outside. And then I just need to smoke up my, like in here it needs a little bit more color. So I just added some more cinnabar and I'm just blending it outwards. Clean off my brush. So when you're wanting to add just a little bit of color, do like put it on there and then wipe off your brush and then go back and blend it. So that way you don't end up with like too much in your brush that your blending doesn't do what you want it to do. Cause that is no fun when that happens. So now that we have this all done, we're gonna do that fun glitter accent. Now, normally I would just jump in and use Mary Kay had a Mary Kay at play item, which I wish we never got rid of. I absolutely love them. It's a liquid eyeliner in gold. And normally I would just use that for this and it would look fantastic and be super crazy easy. But I know that that is really hard to get a hold of. 
They've been discontinued for years. I'm actually my last of my gold one and I'm super sad. I'm gonna have to try to track down and see if anyone has like a gold Mary Kay Play liquid liner laying around because I love them. But I wanted to show you guys how to do this using some products that we still, um, that we currently have. And then one is discontinued, but you might still be able to get your hands on it. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do that little shimmer accent with our liquid eyeshadow. And then a little bit of um, our foil eyeshadow duos um, from not too long ago. So with the liquid eyeshadow, this is really fun because you can do this um, just with the liquid eyeshadow and it's really pretty and I'll show you. And I actually do this pretty regularly with the Light Beam liquid eyeshadow. You can do it with any of them because they all have that really pretty shimmer. But I just, I love Light Beam. It's so good. Everyone needs this liquid eyeshadow in their life, I swear. Um, and then I'm actually going to use some brushes that are limited edition holiday brushes. I am obsessed with these things. They're so like soft and smooth and do exactly what you want them to. So I'm going to use this brush right here. So it's very thin and pointy. Um, I like to use this to do like eyeliner and things when I'm wanting to do like a thick color. So I'm using eyeshadow as my eyeliner. Um, so I'm just going to get some of that. I used, I put some liquid eyeshadow on the back of my hand and I'm going to get some of that liquid eyeshadow on this brush pretty thin and you're actually just going to draw right in that line of where you want that kind of cut creasy look to be just like this and it gives it that really pretty shimmer which is gorgeous even just on its own like I said I actually do this pretty regularly I think it just adds like a fun pop to basically any look. So like you can see, that's really pretty. You don't really see it unless you're like blinking or looking down or whatever. So I, I think it's so pretty. Now, while that's still a little bit wet, I don't let it dry all the way. I'm gonna get the gold one out of the copper and pyrite um, foil eyeshadow. And I am gonna press it into that liquid eyeshadow. Now, this foil eyeshadow can get a little messy if you're not careful. Then it can just end up on everything because it has a lot, a lot of glitter. I honestly don't know why they said foil. I just feel like it's a very, I feel like it's a glitter eyeshadow. Personally, my professional opinion <laughs> is that it's like glitter eyeshadow. So now, like how fun is that? Like that pretty gold pop. Now, if you get it not all in the spot that you want, like you get it a little bit all over and you have, like you didn't get it just on the liquid eyeliner or you have some flyaways, this brush is also from the limited edition holiday brushes and it's like really light and fluffy. So you can just come over top of it and kind of go like this and brush away any of that excess glitter that you don't want everywhere else on your face. Now I'm gonna do my black liner, which, I'm gonna use the gel liner. You could also use our liquid pin. Um, the pencil, it's harder to get really good precision with. So I would say the liquid, like the waterproof liquid pin or the gel eyeliner. Gel is my favorite. It is my go-to. If you watch my videos at all, it's like the one I always use. So I'm gonna put the black liner on now. I always draw my line. So to get your good wing, you wanna come off of the bottom of your waterline at that angle that it would be like that your liner is coming right off of your bottom waterline. That's the angle that you want. Unless you just have special shaped eyes and you have to get creative, then you know, you, I, I have faith in you. And if you're really good, you won't hold your face like I do. Because I totally hold my face and you're not supposed to. Because it causes wrinkling over time. So if I get really wrinkly eyes, y'all just know why. So while I'm putting my eyeliner on, before I show you the other step of the gold, my holiday trivia question is... In the classic song, what does grandma get run over by? In the classic holiday song, what does grandma get run over by? 
I feel like this is a really easy trivia question. I can't even ask the question without thinking the whole song in my head. Okay, eyeliner. It kind of worked with me, just like a little. I mean, it could be better. <laughs> okay, so there's the liner. Now we're gonna do the gold. Now, you could do the gold, like just do a really thick gold liner first and then do the black liner on top of it. But I found that when you're doing it this way with the foil, then your foil, like glittery foil stuff gets all over your eyeliner and then it's harder to like fix. So this is kind of a layering process that I'm gonna show you how I do. So I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna do that liquid eyeshadow all the way across, just like really careful right along the top of my eyeliner. And then I'm gonna go back and touch up my eyeliner if I need to. So we're just gonna, maybe I'll start out here. We're just gonna use this. Come along right like that. And you're just coming along real thin on the top, right above your eyeliner. Just like that. Ooh, I got two on my black. I got black on my thing. Oh no! Okay, now I'm gonna go get the, oh, there's black on my, on my brush, hang on. Now I'm going to get that gold. We're going to put the gold on top. <laughs> you are so welcome for introducing you to the gel eyeliner. It's life changing. It really is. Okay, so now we're just doing that gold foil on top of that lash line. It's usually my inner corner that I have to come back and fix with the eyeliner. So I get it too thick. Okay. Look how pretty it's looking. Okay. Now, let's come back. I'm going to use this brush really quick and get any excess glitter that is not supposed to be there. Your eye might get a little glittery with this. I mean, I guess I, guess I could like... You could like clean it up if you wanted it like real matte. You just get your all over color brush and like come in here and make sure. Okay, now to touch up the eyeliner so you can see it. I like the crisp line, so I could totally leave it like this and it still looks really good. But I like to have that nice crisp line, like the difference between the gold and the black. So now I'm just going to come in here. Can you get all up in your business on my camera? I'm just cleaning up my line. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. So there's that, and then we're just gonna smoke up the bottom. So I'm gonna show you my favorite trick for getting like that really nice, smooth, smoky look on the bottom um, with like the black into the other color. So I'm gonna use, I just like threw all my stuff everywhere. Um, I'm gonna use our black um, pencil liner. So everything has a time and a place, right? So I'm gonna use our black pencil liner and I'm gonna come right along my lash line. So not my water line, but right along my lash line, it doesn't have to be perfect or pretty. Just keeping it right along my lash line like that. Okay, so it does not look perfect. It does not look super pretty or anything like that, right? Now, I'm going to take this smudger brush. So this is our old smudger brush. You could also use our new one. Works okay, but I just like the shape of this one better for doing this specifically. But I'm just going to take this and I'm going to come and I'm going to smudge up. Smudge up my black liner. And then it looks so much better. 
Even when I use the pencil liner on my top lid now, like if I'm ever doing that, I smudge it up with this because I just like how it looks better. So, doesn't that look better? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna grab our other smudger brush. So this one, and we're gonna get some of that brown color that we used, the cinnabar, and we're gonna smoke up, we're gonna blend that into the black that we just did. Really make that bottom lash line smoky. I think I let my other eyeliner dry more before I threw this on there, because now it's looking a lot more black than this one. Mm. Gotta make a match. <laughs> Get a little bit more black up in here. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, you just smoke it up really good. Now we're gonna do our inner corner. So I'm gonna use this color Blossom. So it's this light matte color. It's really, really light and it has a little bit of a pink undertone. So I'm gonna do that in my inner corner and kind of blending out towards what we just did. And then I'm gonna get some crystalline. I like to mix it with a little bit of Moonstone. So crystalline is this white shimmer. Moonstone is like a creamy shimmer. Moonstone's shimmer just seems to pop more on my skin. So that's why I like to mix it a little bit. So I'm gonna blend that on this inner corner and then I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit. Don't worry guys, these are these are my eyeshadows. These don't go on anyone else's faces. That's why I can lick my brush. And that just makes it really shine. Like really shine. Here we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then we're gonna do a little highlight up here in the brow with the crystalline. And now all you have left is um, I do, I like to do a little bit of white eyeliner. Um, this time I used, this is a Mary Kay, it's called the Weekender Eye Pencil. It's like really old. You cannot get it anymore. Um, and it's really shimmery. It's actually kind of iridescent-y. So I didn't actually do white eyeliner. I used this one and I just did it on my waterline. So it's kind of like, it's just, it lightens it and gives it a shimmery effect, which is really pretty. Um, and then I'll just put on mascara and lashes and my cheek color. I don't know what cheek color should we do? I can do my cheeks for you guys. It's amazing what cheeks will do for you. I'm going to show you how I do my cheeks because cheeks are important. We're going to do um, maybe Wineberry. I think that's its name. This one right here. Give me a little bit of life. Okay, looking better already. So I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna show you how I do my highlight. Highlight, 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 I can speak. Okay, now the tip with cheeks is if you push your two fingers against the side of your nose, you never wanna come closer to your nose than the outer, like the edge of your outer finger. So if you push it against your nose like this, you don't wanna come closer. So you can see like, that is right where I stop. And I just know exactly where that spot is because I do my makeup a lot. I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight. I'm gonna use, you could use that crystalline eyeshadow. Um, we have a couple of highlighting colors. I actually might be tan enough to actually use one. So I'll use this one. I think it's Honey Glow right here. And I'm just gonna put that, eh, that's not as light as I want. I'm gonna switch and cheat and use my discontinued, discontinued one. So this is a Mary Kay. Um, it's called Pearls. It's my favorite highlighter ever. I'm almost out of it. I'm really sad about it. Highlight there. Then I'm gonna get my smudger brush. This is what I use to do my lip. Just like that. And then I'm gonna contour my lip a little bit with our lighter contour color. So I just contour my little, my little lines because I actually have a really short upper lip and I like to be able to see it. So after I put my colors on, I just blend with my big powder brush to make sure everything is smooth. 
and then I'm going to come back with it's my highlighter one just a little bit more cheek color which I know seems weird but if you know me I like everything to be really blended and really smooth and no like harsh lines or anything like that so that's why I do the layering process the way that I do because I found that that is how I get the best like blend I don't know perfection <laughs> by layering like that so that's what I do and then we're gonna do a really fun lipstick color because I have my my pink flamingo and my pops of color so we're gonna do paparazzi pink because you know why not I'm going to the dentist again today so we'll see how the hot pink holds up <laughs> I love this lipstick so much so much it's so pretty and if you guys have this lipstick shade you can use it as eyeshadow and cheek color too so you know multi uses I'm a fan There we go. And then I will just add eyelashes to this eye. But other than that, we are done. So I hope you learned something and had a lot of fun. Yeah, my favorite. Like, this is literally one of my favorite lipsticks. And it matches my flamingo so good. Like, look at that. So good. Okay, guys, have a happy Wednesday. Go do fun things. I don't know. People don't seem to like Wednesday all the time. and They call it hump day, but... I don't know. I like every day. So go do something cool. I'm going to get a pink drink when you get Starbucks. That's what I'm going to do today. <laughs> okay. I will see you guys next time.